There are two main biblical ways to and for receiving the anointing. Number one, directly from God himself. So you can receive the anointing directly from Yahweh himself, from God himself, from the big man upstairs himself. So we have seen where God will release the anointing to somebody or on somebody himself. You see, the wisdom and the unction that Solomon carried came directly from God through an encounter in a dream. So he woke up as the wisest man, as the wealthiest man or the richest man because he had an encounter with God in a dream. God asked him, can I give you? Ask anything. And of course we know said, I want to cancel these people, so I need wisdom. And God said, because you have asked for a right thing, you didn't ask for your enemies to die, I will give you also riches. So you see? So he slept, not as the wisest man, but he woke up. Men had received something. That is an example. So one can receive the anointing directly from God. It can be through an encounter his word, you are you're reading his word, and all of a sudden, the anointing can come on you. I remember in the year 2009, we're in a prayer mountain, reading and studying and studying, then pray. It was prayer and fasting, so it's just reading, praying, reading, praying. So in the middle of the night, we are, all of us, reading like this, the word of God. And there was this other brother, of ours god was with that guy mightily okay. he's on a rock he's sitting he's, he's, he's sitting on top of a rock he's reading his bible as he's reading his bible while he's listen while he's, he was reading his bible men entered into a trance to an extent that it was a trance that we shook him because we thought something had happened to him because the way he was position it was like he was going to fall and then when he came back he told us that he was in heaven he even told us that that night it was, it was going to rain that guy was not a prophet even today he's not a prophet anyway but he, like jonah he became a seasonal prophet in a season he prophesied he said it's going to rain tonight it was like what oh, it had never rained in a long time it rained so you can encounter the anointing just by reading the word. God can introduce you to a different level of grace by just getting into the word. And it is not every time where you have to like even read it. You can be listening to me now. That's what the Bible says. And while this Peter was preaching, the Holy Ghost came down. You see what I'm talking about now. So you can be listening to Apostle Mies and God can unlock your, your gift. The anointing can come on you. Number two is through impartation. So you can receive the anointing through impartation. You can be a David looking after the sheep. But God can send Samuel. You can be a Timothy and God can send a Paul. He says, don't neglect the gift that I have put in you. By the laying on of my hands. He said, don't neglect it. But how did the gift end up there? He's telling us. It's in the Bible. He says, I put it in you. That's what he's saying. He says, I put the gift in you by the laying on of my hands. Let's go uh, to, to First Timothy, please. Thank you, Apostle. Mm -hmm. The book of First Timothy, chapter 4, verses 14. That's correct. It reads, mm -hmm. neglect not the gift mm -hmm. that is in thee, mm -hmm. which was given thee by prophecy. By, by prophecy. So the gift was given to you by prophecy. Uh -huh. With the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. With the laying on of hands. You see that now? Go to Second Timothy, please. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 6. Correct. Wherefore, mm -hmm. I put thee in remembrance mm -hmm. that thou stir up the gift of God. Stir up what? 
the gift of God. So it's a gift of who? Of God. Is it Paul's gift? No. No. It's a gift of who? Of God. God. Gift of God. God. Gift of God. God. Uh huh. Which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Which is in you by the laying on of my hands. But whose gift is it? God. Is the gift of God. But how did it end up in him? By the laying on of Paul's hands. Romans 1. Verse 11. The book of Romans chapter 1 verses 11. Correct. For I long to see you. I desire. I have a zealo to see you Uh uh-huh that i may impart unto you some spiritual gifts that i may impart on you some spiritual gifts Uh uh-huh to the end ye may be established to the end ye may be what established Established. so there is what we call impartation Mm. this is where you are given access in into somebody's elements this is where somebody releases the grace that is upon their lives to you. That's why you hear people say things like, any anointing that is not transferable is questionable. Because grace must be transferable. So you can receive the anointing through impartation. From carriers of the anointing. Just because you think God knows that you need to be anointed, God is going to do. No. Sometimes what is for you, God will put it in a man. He said, go and anoint Hazel. Go and anoint Jehu. Go and anoint Elisha. Who is he talking to? Elijah. Elisha, he's busy plowing there. Hazel is busy minding his business. Jehu is busy minding his business. But God is talking to a man about these guys. He's even telling this one. He says, as you anoint this one, this one is going to become a king. And this one is going to be your successor. Elisha does not even know he is going to be Elijah's successor. But God is speaking to a man. And that is because God can use carriers of the anointing to anoint you. 